Hey, how's it going? Um, so this, what I'm trying to do um, is create a free energy generator. Um, as you can see there, I got a 10 kilowatt generator um, connected to about a one and a half horse high uh, RPM uh, electric motor. You can see it has a little on off switch. So the thought here is to, uh, it, it runs like this once I plug it in obviously to a power source. Um, but the idea is to eventually mechanically start it um, through some uh, multiplying gears or actually um, just do a, a battery inverter, which I do have on order. Uh, they're on back order. So I kind of want to just get this first video out here. Um, this does work. I haven't mounted anything down yet. Just bought a little cheap cart from Harbor Freight uh, just to kind of sit th things on because that 10, 10, 10 kW uh, generator right here um, is about 110 pounds. And that little stand that it came with that I bought off a, uh, a farmer um, that it needed anymore is hooked to a PTO. Um, he The stand was included, which I might use or I might get rid of because it's kind of... Um, the handle and stuff, it has a cam thing that kind of tightens the belt, but I'll probably do like a, uh, an auto tensioner or something, something spring loaded. So it keeps the belt tight, mount everything down. This isn't exactly the final product by any means. This is really just a test and I could actually, um, plug it in, but I'm not going to do that right now. It does work, obviously connect to a power source. You see a little on off switch. So I bought these motors off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, both of these actually got a really good deal on them. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. So no uh, no uh, gas engine, no natural gas, any, any type of uh, fossil fuel engine. Um, once this gets running, the, the, the idea is to obviously this, I don't want this running 24 seven. When and if I get it connected to a uh, battery battery start and inverter, really just to start this motor. And then I'm gonna have a little switch, um, uh, you know, have that motor plugged in to a, a switch so I can go from battery start basically or the inverter and use the uh, 10KW generator right here to keep running that motor so it, it stays on. So do a quick little switch and then boom, it's up and running. So I'll wire that up. I have to buy some uh, switches and stuff so I don't, um, so it's easier to do that little switch besides unplugging stuff. I can just uh, switch it there. And the other idea is to, uh, once this generator, cause it takes about a few seconds for this generator to make speed or make uh, power once it is at full operating speed, which is like 3,480, I think RPM up to like 37, 3,800 RPM, which that little motor. So that little electric motor, um, I had to buy a new pulley. That's about a five and a quarter inch pulley. This had a five inch pulley on already. So to get the right speed, I just did a little um, pulley calculator off of, you know, found it on Google. Uh, and it came out to where is, you know, gets that generator operating about 3,600 RPM on that, just that those two pulleys alone at that speed. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so I just wanted to show this video kind of what I'm working on. Yeah, this isn't this isn't the perfect generator. It's got some circuit breakers that aren't they're kind of stuck, but they still do work. I got power out of these all these plugs. So you got a little voltmeter on the side, which you, what I'm actually gonna do if I can't fix that, um, I'm actually gonna wire in an indicator light. So to make the switch, I know that it's at full, it's making power, and then I'll just flip the switch and so it'll keep continuing running, then it'll actually what I'll probably do, it won't be, it won't be this motor cord plugged into here. It was going to do is probably going to have a switch uh, coming off the inverter, wired into the inverter with a switch, and then a cord cord running back to the actual generator. So uh, I don't have to switch anything around. So I asked the wife, "Would you want mechanical star or would you want electric star?" <laughs> star basically, and uh, uh, we're going to try the electric star first with the battery bubble battery with an inverter uh, then I actually also researched a multiplying gear so on top somewhere around here we'll connect it either um, gonna have to have something like a starter we're not sure yet but there's our gear multiplier so we could have a gear maybe change this to a one single 
single belt pulley and then have something on the front here, like a gear to in and out for like a typical starter, or set mechanical starter and then have it on a linear gear track or something to uh, engage and disengage it somehow. We don't know yet. It can be done, I think, as long as we get that full operating RPM. So we'll have, you know, work on the mechanical once we get done with the electrical start uh, and see if we can't do a mechanical start too. And then once everything is tested and obviously working, we'll probably keep this unit laner, unit uh, just as fun, for fun. Um, and then we'll probably uh, get a whole house, you know, look at doing a whole house and using this generator to uh, to run a um, to charge up batteries, uh, battery packs like the power cells or something from Tesla. So maybe have some type of uh, uh, you know low indicator relay to automatically would start this, and this would be completely off grid, no gasoline, no solar, or anything like that. This would obviously kick on, and then the idea is to. Being that this is battery and say it was on by itself, the idea is obviously to run this long enough and actually have a uh, a battery charger. So maybe stick the stick the battery somewhere right in here, whatever in between the unit. Have the inverter up here somewhere, and then have all the switches. It probably won't look as pretty, but uh, we can um, make it look pretty nice once we figure out what it's going to look like and build a better stay in the cart this is just the cheapo just to push it around but i uh, have a battery charger to uh run these units so let's see if i can there's a little kid's lambo back there <laughs> charge up that little thing too so this doesn't have a mount so i don't want to start it necessarily um but uh because that belt will fly off I do kind of want to show it. I'll take the belt off real quick. This does work. I tested it and that's, I had a two and a half inch pulley on this little electric motor uh, and I didn't have the right RPM. So I had to uh, get a bigger pulley and do a little calculation um, to get it to, to work. So see here, I'll plug it in. Sorry about the video. Hold on one second. Try not to electrocute myself. There we go. Plugged in. See, it's running, in, it's running to an outlet. No, uh, no faking stuff here. Not some of the other people on the internet. Got a cord hidden and you can't see it. And they don't show you the whole video. This is plugged in. <laughs> so, see how that's running. 3450 RPM. It's more speed on the pulley because of the pulley size difference. So the generator gets up to its speed. Uh, yeah, that's it. So um, I'll probably end up working on taking that stand off there. This little thing is like a cam. It tightens up the belt. I don't like it. Uh, I'd rather have an auto tensioner, um, some type of spring load auto tensioner for the V-belt. Uh, once the inverter gets here and I already have the battery, hook that all together, plug the motor in and the switch buy the switch later, wire all that stuff in, and so I can uh, start it that way if it all works the way I think it should. Uh, in theory, you know. So yeah, that's it. So um, this will be video one. And once I get the uh, inverter and stuff, I'll do another video, mount this stuff down. Um, maybe even look at getting auto tensioner or something in the meantime to keep that belt tight. I don't know, maybe once I get it mounted, I can just have it on the slide or something there this is a slide it's pretty rusty i could use that i guess um flip it around because it tensions the other way just to uh use that in the meantime maybe i don't know i don't like it still it's just bulky and it looks ugly but um yeah so stay tuned uh more to come and see if we can get this uh thing off the grid with all these gasoline prices i don't really want to have a uh engine to take care of or a loud engine at that so this is pretty quiet overall and i think it you know i think long term it'll work especially battery backup so it doesn't have to run 24 7 and yeah so all right stay tuned more more videos to come bye